In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the font in your presentation. So right now I have a speech bubble here and I want to add some different text. Um, right now I'm just going to make her say hi. I'm Lala. Um, but I think that that might be a little bit hard to read for my audience. So I'm just going to push Control A to select all of the text. The other way I could do that is, of course, click and highlight myself. Um, and I'm going to look for a font that I think is going to be super easy for my audience to read. So I might try that one. I don't really like it. Um, I've selected the font again. And I'm going to scroll through and see what I might use. Um, I kind of want it to look like a comic font, so I'm looking for this one. Hi, I'm Alala. I think that's really easy to read. It kind of reminds me of a comic book, so I'm going to go ahead and use that font. Um, I'm also going to insert another text box because I know that I have to put information on my slide about Malala. Um, I'm going to start by adding a bullet point. So I'm going to click on these three dots for more and I'm going to choose bullet points. You can click on the arrow next to the picture of the bullet points and choose the bullet points that you want to use. But I think these ones are the easiest to read and sort of the most classic. Um, I looked up when Malala's birthday was. It's July 12, 1997. So I'm going to put born July 12. 1997 um, and that's all the information I'm gonna put on here for now actually I'm gonna add in this part I'll put born in Pakistan born in Pakistan um, and these are bullet points so I don't need any kind of periods at the end this is obviously really small and crazy looking so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again put control a and I'm going to start by making my font a little bit bigger, maybe 18 or 20. Um, 18 still looks a little bit small. I might try 20. All right. Um, I like a little bit of space between my bullet points also, so I'm going to click on line spacing and choose add space after list item. It spaces it out a little bit more. makes things a little bit easier for my audience to read. Again, this is all still selected. If I accidentally deselect it, I can just click back over and highlight it or click Control A. And then if I want to change the font, um, I can do so by just clicking the arrow, <coughs> excuse me, and choose Calibri. I like that font. I think it's very professional, very easy to read. And that is how you change fonts using Google Slides.